Now you know how to build the business. I just want to give you a little idea of what to expect. And this is the same shit that I dealt with in my sales career. And this is part of why um, I don't have a service-based business because, well, I've had enough of it in my sales career. And I had almost a decade of it. I did it like a retard. I worked for other people instead of doing it for myself. If I if I'd worked for myself, um, I would have been making 250, 300k. You know, I I barely need to make a cold call because it would be all referrals. But such is life. So here are the downsides of what to expect. Okay, um, it's tough to scale. So you can't as a as a sole proprietor, you can't really scale up. Um, you know, to be a millionaire, most of the time you got to touch millions of people. Okay. Um, you gotta have a product that you shipped out to the world, whatever it is. Um, you can't do that. Number two, it's location dependent. You can't live out here in Thailand for the most part, unless you're a programmer, um, then you can move around. But for the most part, it's location dependent. Uh, with that said, you can take vacations, you know, the average corporate guy only gets a week off. You can take a month if you want, if you're doing good um, after you've built the business. And number three, it's not fun. I mean, selling real estate, working to 600 cold calls a day is not going to be fun. Okay. What you have to do instead, and this is not a, a living your passion kind of business. Okay. Because that's fucking bullshit. You need to become passionate about making money. You're never going to be passionate about real estate or insurance. That shit is fucking boring. You are going to be, you need to link every cold call and everything you do during the day towards a dollar figure. That you can get passionate about. You can get passionate about six figures, 200, 300K a year. And you're, and as you're losing, you know, to, to motivate yourself during the day, you, you know that you're only a couple hundred cold calls away from the next deal. Okay, that's how I've motivated myself in sales. I knew the numbers I had to make, and I I had a monthly revenue target, I had a yearly revenue target, and then I had plans for that money. For the last couple of years, it was saving for Thailand. For you, it's going to be you know whatever you want to do with that money, but you got to link it to a dollar value. Um, and instead of being passionate about the the shit that you're selling, you become passionate about. The money that you're making and that believe me that will get you through the day that will keep you motivated that will keep you hot and then you keep focused on the mission that you're building cash millionaire by 40 financial independence maybe you want to start another maybe you want to build up a bunch of money and start another business um, in your mid 30s or early 40s or you know w whatever it is okay maybe you got two missions and this is the first one um, whatever it is you got to figure that out but that's what to expect.